A tragic story out of Ohio where a phone scam ended with a deadly confrontation. An elderly man who had received threatening phone calls confronted and killed an Uber driver who he thought came to his house as part of a scam. Now the story, we have more on the video and it could be disturbing. No. Lalitha Hall screamed for help as William Brock confronted her with a gun. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I know what you're but as the Uber driver tried to flee, police say the 81-year-old resident shot her multiple times. <laughs> and then he called 911. Well, I shot her in the leg the first time and I shot her in the shoulder. Why did you do that? Because I was threatened that she was going to come and kill me. The county sheriff's office says Brock was the subject of a scam call concerning an incarcerated relative, which turned to threats and a demand for money. Police say Hall, the driver, was also contacted either by the same scammer or an accomplice to pick up a package from Brock's residence through the Uber app. The guy on the phone center here. Okay. At Joe. So the male on the phone was trying to get money from you, and she was knocking on the door at the same time? Yes, and he was telling me he was going to... Kill me and the family and everybody else around. Hall, who was 61, died from her injuries in the hospital. Police say she made no threats or assaults towards Brock before the shooting, other than to ask about the package she was sent to retrieve. They also say Brock took her cell phone and refused to let her leave. Last week, Brock was charged with felony murder, and now he could face 15 years to life behind bars, plus a $15,000 fine. He has pleaded not guilty. What does the prosecution need to prove in this case? That Brock knew he was using deadly force, and what the prosecution is going to say is there is just no reason to shoot three times when somebody is trying to leave your property. If somebody is trying to flee, almost by definition, they are no longer posing a threat. Uber says it has banned the account of the person who ordered Hall's trip and has been in touch with both her family and Clark County law enforcement. It is hard to know if the alleged scammers will be held liable for Hall's death. It's not clear that they could have predicted this ruse would lead to a deadly outcome. Lilia Luciano, CBS News, New York.